Once, long ago, a rich nobleman, his wife, friends and servants rode into a thick forest on their way to visit relatives. The day was ordinary like any other, but they would soon discover that this was no ordinary forest. Ah, what a lovely day for a ride. Wouldn't you agree, my dear? In the servant's wagon rode a young maid named Lisbeth, who longed for the life of rich nobility. How's that? <laughs> You're the very picture of youth. Little did they all know that they were about to encounter an evil worse than their most terrible nightmares. Now who's responsible for this? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Don't try to hide. Come out, I say. Why should I hide from you? <laughs> she just appeared out of thin air. I'm not afraid of the likes of you. After all, this is my forest. What do you mean, lady? This is an open highway. That's quite right. Now get out of the road and let us pass. Huh? Never! yourself up now. We've got you surrounded. No, my dear fellow, you don't. Turn around and behold! There's goblins everywhere! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> After her, don't let that servant girl get away! Further, I can go on like this. I feel like I'm going to collapse. Oh. It's raining. As Lisbeth looked oh, around oh, her. She could see nothing but trees and rain and darkness. Suddenly, she heard an eerie, frightening sound, which seemed to come from the trees. Those trees make such awful noises. <laughs> come with us. so scared of my whole life. Oh, my. I haven't eaten in so long. Oh, Brad! Oh. And I'm so awfully tired. But if I fall asleep now, then those wolves will get me. Oh, what will I do? Whatever will I do? Trouble? Who's there? Although she had heard a voice speak to her, Lisbeth found herself face to face with an owl. She had seen owls before, but there was something different about this one, something almost human. Did that owl talk to me? Uh huh. <gasps> oh no! Please don't hurt me, Mr. Owl. It's not my fault that I got lost all alone in the forest. Ah! <gasps> oh! Don't worry. You really have nothing to be afraid of. I've got lots of things to worry about, like where am I going to find some dinner? What a beautiful golden key! Here, take it. Oh. Ah. Just turn around and you'll see a thicket of wild roses. Put the key in the lock that you'll find there. A surprise is waiting for you. Mm. Mm. 
Well, look at that. Who'd look for a door in a place like this? Oh, it's a cup of hot soup. It smells great. Just go ahead and enjoy it. Thanks. This is really great. Oh, now I'm so full. That was really delicious, Mr. Owl. But now I'm so sleepy. And if I fall asleep here, then the wolves will come and get me. There's another lock on that big tree over there. Why don't you use your key to unlock it and see what you find inside? Lisbeth was so tired and confused that she would do whatever the owl told her. As she turned the key in the lock, a door appeared and opened to reveal a simple bedroom. A bed! This is wonderful! It's so soft! Look at these beautiful clothes. They're just like something a real princess would wear to a ball. I really can't wear these nice things. I don't know who they belong to, but they don't belong to me. Yes, they most certainly do. Mr. Al, do you mean it? You're my very best oh, friend in the world. Tell me how you do all these things. I want to know. Huh? The moon. I must leave you now. Oh, Mr. Al, don't leave me all by myself again. Where are you going? Please come back, Mr. Al. Ooh. 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 As the owl flew off toward the moon, Lisbeth fell into an uneasy sleep, wondering if she would ever see her newfound friend again. Surprises this time. Well, there's only one way to find out. How wonderful! Now I can freshen up. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what a delicious breakfast, Mr. Owl. You should try some. Mm. As Lisbeth lay down to sleep, the kind owl once again turned his attention to the moon and, without warning, flew off into the darkness. Huh? Mr. Owl, come back! Don't leave me again! Why do you always fly away at night? Please come back, Mr. Owl! Come back! Once again, the mysterious owl flew off toward the moon, leaving Lisbeth alone and frightened in the chilly forest night. Lisbeth was puzzled by all this, but tried to remain optimistic nonetheless. So cold. Well, maybe he'll come back again tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Well, hello again. Well, hello yourself. Mr. Owl, I wish you'd stop flying away and leaving me alone at night. Do you have another person to take care of somewhere else? You're the only one I want to care for. Don't go then. I don't have any choice. No choice? Again the night came, and again the mysterious owl prepared to take his leave from Lisbeth. Are you going to leave again? I have to do what I have to do. Goodbye. Oh, hey! What's the big secret anyway? Who? 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 Where does he go each night? Where? I'm going to find out. Mr. Owl! Lost again. What am I gonna do? Huh? Who's that? Is anyone there? <gasps> Wolf!
Follow my voice. Hurry. The wolves are right behind me. Where are you? Follow my voice. But they're right behind me. Like I'm still in the forest. What a beautiful quill! You had me very worried last night. I'm sorry. The forest is a very dangerous place to be in the middle of the night. I hope you've learned your lesson. Well, I've learned to steer clear of wolf packs, but I haven't found out why you leave me every night. And I want to know. Well, you certainly don't give up too easily. No, I don't. And you're the best friend I've got in the whole world. So if you've got a problem, I think you should let me in on the secret. All right, then, since you insist, I'll tell you the truth. An old witch has me under an evil spell. The same awful old witch who attacked our carriage in the woods? I'd do anything to get back at her, Mr. Owl, especially if it means helping you. Just tell me what I have to do. There just has to be some way to break the spell. Well, well. Tell me how to break the spell. I'd do anything to pay you back for your kindness, Mr. Owl. Well? Well? Well, what? You must follow my directions exactly, to the letter. Yes, Mr. Owl, whatever you say. All right, but you must follow one simple rule or this will never work. All right, Mr. Owl. Once you've begun this dangerous journey, you mustn't let a single word pass your lips, or you too will fall under a spell. That doesn't sound hard at all. I'm very good at being quiet. Just tell me what else to do, Mr. Owl, and I'll do it. I'm afraid it won't be an easy task. First, you must travel deep into the woods until you find the witch's house high upon a cliff. It will be very frightening inside the house, and the witch will try to trick you into speaking. But no matter what happens, you must mind your tongue and not say a word. You'll know if it's safe to go in by looking at the gold lock above the door. If it's facing forward, that means the witch is home. But if it's sideways, the house is empty. <gasps> she must have gone out the back way. This is my big chance. Well, well, well. I'd better notify the welcoming committee. Once you're inside, go straight to the first room on your left. The first room on my left? This must be it over here. It's the witch's private treasure room. <gasps> Look at all that treasure! <laughs> you can't say a word, silly, or you'll never get out of here. There's a special key hidden among the jewels. Its handle is shaped like a human head. I'm never going to find a special key in all this. Uh, uh, I found it. Can't I keep my big mouth shut? <laughs> well, just look what I found. Don't even scream or all is lost. Be brave. You can do it. So, you thought you could steal the witch's treasure, did you? I got her! <laughs> no, she's mine! <laughs> The key fits one of the doors in a long, long hallway. Inside that room is a golden ring. Bring the ring to me and the spell will be broken. And remember, whatever happens, don't say a word. One by one, Lisbeth tried in vain to unlock the doors in the hall. But there were too many of them, and she was running out of time. It's no use. I'm trapped. <laughs> You can't get away! Ah! 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 
<laughs> you think you're going to beat me, do you, little girl? Well, why don't we play in my fun house for a little while first? <laughs> Don't scream no matter how much she tries to frighten you. And find that golden ring. <laughs> Suddenly, Lisbeth found herself in an endless corridor of doors, all of them identical, and all of them open to her. It was as if she were running into an endless mirror. Keep quiet and find that gold ring no matter what. girl who escaped last week? Well, you won't get away from me again. <laughs> don't scream and don't say a word. Just find that golden ring and it will all be over. Her power will be destroyed. Time to scream because I'm going to frighten you like nothing's ever frightened you before. <gasps> and if that won't make you talk, perhaps my goblins will. <laughs> she looks like a tasty snack. She sure does. <laughs> <gasps> I'll teach you to shut my head in that door. <laughs> See, it matches. That must be where the ring is hidden. to help Mr. Owl, not make him vanish into thin air like that. Thank you very much, my beautiful young friend. Oh, my. Mr. Owl, you're back again. <laughs> well, I'm glad you recognize my voice. But I'm not really an owl. I'm the prince of a kingdom that was under a spell. I don't think I can ever thank you enough. I was just thinking. What about? Well, you might laugh, but I was thinking about all the fun we had up in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Although he did not say it, Lisbeth knew that the prince loved her, for through her love, he was free at last. And just as Lisbeth's love had freed the prince, their love for each other chased all evil from the forest and freed all who had fallen prey to its magic. Soon everyone rejoiced, and there was laughter in the forest again. Lisbeth and the prince were married, and their love continued to grow through the years. They lived a long and happy life together.